Hello everybody, this is Overboy and I'm going to be doing my review for the new movie, No Hard Feelings. So this movie is directed by Gene Stanimski, who also directed the 2019 movie Good Boys. And in this movie, on the brink of losing her childhood home, Maddie discovers an intriguing job listing of wealthy helicopter parents looking for someone to date their introverted son. Uh, who is 19 years old, Percy, and before he leaves college. And to her surprise, Maddie soon discovers that the awkward Percy is no sure thing. Um, so, this movie was a ton of fun. It was one that uh, kind of came out of nowhere. I, I saw the trailer for it a couple months ago and was like, that movie looks like it's going to be really good and everything. And then I kind of forgot about it and then... Uh, just last week I found out that it was coming out and everything so I went to see it this week and everything I'm a huge Jennifer Lawrence fan I've, I've loved her ever since the Hunger Games even though I haven't actually seen every single movie she's in she's one of those actresses that I've always just really loved um, but uh, I think she did a really good job in this movie and she's just absolutely great in here um, and she funny as Maddie she did a really good job and she helps carry the movie really well and I think that uh, she really also showed her comedic chops like uh, I've seen her in interviews and stuff and she always seems like this down to earth funny person and everything she seems to have this funny personality she makes jokes and stuff and I've seen her do little skits on stuff she seems like she has a good sense of humor and everything so I'm like she ought to do more comedies and stuff and she was great in this movie um, this was I think her first romantic comedy and stuff and she did a really really good job in it and everything and I kind of hope to see her do more raunchy comedies um, and the jokes in here are hilarious they, they, they land pretty well I, I don't think there's very many that don't uh, and everything I mean all comedies at least have a few that don't so there are maybe a few here and there that that just don't land as well as the other ones but it, it's a pretty funny movie and everything and uh, Andre Berth Feldman, who plays Percy, does an excellent job too, and he's really good at being this awkward, shy dude that uh, doesn't want to come out of his shell. He's scared of everything. Kind of reminded me of myself at night at the age of 19, um, in a lot of ways. Um, but he, he did a really good job and everything, and getting that, getting that, getting the feel of someone of that age and everything he did a great job with it and his chemistry with Jennifer Lawrence is really good they, they worked really great together um, and this movie feels like a throwback to early 2000s raunchy comedies just like Gene Stu Stavinsky's other movie Good Boys uh, uh, you could tell that he's like inspired by Judd Apatow and everything this movie kind of has that feel of a Judd Apatow movie it's not quite on the same level as is his movies of course but still really a good movie and I think he's a comedy director that I'm gonna be following for a while I'm excited to see what he does next I hope he continues with these raunchy comedies because he's really good at it um, and everything and I think he, he did a great job writing and directing this movie and stuff too and I heard like the behind the scenes story of how this movie came to be and everything uh, Gene Stavnitsky is really good friends with Jennifer Lawrence and uh, he had read to her about a an ad on Craigslist about someone trying to hire someone to date their son and everything and she was like that that would make an interesting movie and everything and she he said I'd write it for you to star in and if she didn't think he was being serious but a few years later he actually had the script ready for her and everything and she said in an interview that it was one of the funniest movie scripts she's ever read and everything and I, I'm glad that she did this movie because she was so great in here um, but uh, I think that he got a really great performance out of her and knowing that they're friends and stuff and everything I think really elevates her performance so like like he really got 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 a great performance and stuff and 
um, and uh, I just like that these kind of comedy movies, the raunchy comedies that, that still have heart and stuff in them, and, and uh, a lot of them have good messages and stuff too at the end, and if you really think about it and stuff, but um, they're also just fun sex comedies and raunchy comedies and stuff like that and it, it felt like a throwback to stuff like American Pie mixed with uh, uh, Judd Apatow and stuff um, although this ain't really as much like American Pie that's not really a good example but <laughs> uh, the raunchiness of it I guess um, but and I think Maddie uh, the when you look at the premise of the movie and you see the, the character at first she's not very likable Maddie isn't a, a very likable character but the the way the movie is written and how well it's written and stuff and Jennifer Lawrence's performance and what she brings to the character and stuff just makes Maddie more likable than she should have been and everything and I thought that was pretty cool and everything so um, I don't have a lot of negatives with this movie. Like I said, the only thing is maybe some of the jokes didn't land, but most of them did. Um, actually, a good majority of them. This is one of the most satisfying comedies I've been to in a long time where I feel like it actually lived up to the trailers. It didn't at all. It was as funny as I had hoped it would be. It was exactly what I wanted out of it and everything. It's just a really fun comedy movie, and we don't get those as often for me I'm really picky when it comes to my comedy but I, I feel like the comedy movies this year have been better than in recent years uh, like like uh, 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 Cocaine Bear was pretty funny and uh, Bo is Afraid was a really good dark comedy um, Dungeons and Dragons had a lot of good humor in it it was pretty good comedy The Blackening is probably my favorite uh, comedy of the year aside from this movie um, the hard no hard feelings is easily my favorite comedy of the year though um, but you got a lot of really good ones this year and not to mention uh, uh, I really enjoyed murder mystery too which is, it's not like a super great movie but it's a fun comedy and uh, you people with Eddie Murphy and Jonah Hill that they, they were both hilarious in that movie especially Eddie Murphy and everything so I feel like there have been some pretty good comedies this year and everything um, more than there have been in recent years I just uh, I've been behind on comedy movies too I've been focusing on so many other genres that uh, I kind of uh, am wanting to get back into comedies because I was really into them in high school and stuff and everything so I might start reviewing more comedy movies on this channel and everything I, I uh, like I said it it's one of my favorite genres it always has been and everything I've kind of just started getting back into it and it, this movie was a really fun one and I look forward to seeing more of one I know the next one I'm really excited for is strays with uh, Will Ferrell and Jamie Foxx doing the voice of dogs and stuff it looks like a really fun R-rated dog movie um, but yeah so no hard feelings is a great movie uh, a lot of fun it's actually one of my favorite movies of the year so far um, which I didn't expect to like it as much as I did but I liked it enough that I'm gonna be taking my friend to see this one because I, I think he needs to see it too but um, so I'd give this one an A plus and I highly recommend it especially if you love comedies this one uh, doesn't feel like it's trying to not offend anybody it, it, it's it, it has a pretty out there premise and stuff but it, it's a fun movie and if you're not easily offended and you love good raunchy comedies I would highly recommend it um, if you are easily offended then it probably isn't for you um, but uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a good day everybody